Now, today we will be talking about the cardiac cycle. And cardiac cycle we will be discussing in two fashions. In one way we will be discussing cardiac cycle while I will be doing different diagrams. And in second phase we will discuss the cardiac cycle uh, when I will be presenting the events during the cardiac cycle graphically. So first of all let us see cardiac cycle the all the events which occur during one cardiac cycle means all the mechanical events which occur during one systole and one diastole. First of all what is cardiac cycle? One cardiac cycle is equal to one cardiac cycle is equal to one systole plus one yes please yes, yes. one diastole. Systole mean contraction and diastole mean Delay. relaxation, right? Now, first of all, we start the events from the left heart from atrial contraction. And the events which I will present in the diagrams in the left heart, basically similar events occur in the right heart. Let us suppose here is left atrium, here is left ventricle and aorta, right? Now, we have to study the events in the left ventricle, number one, when atria contract. Let us suppose in this diagram, I am presenting the phase of cardiac cycle when left atrium is contracting. Now, listen carefully, that when we talk about the cardiac cycle, we have to take care of the three chambers. Number one, in a particular phase, what is happening in the atrium? Number two, in the same phase, what is happening in ventricle? Number three, in the same phase, what is exactly happening in aorta? Again, let me repeat it. When we are going to discuss this particular phase of cardiac cycle, right, what we have to discuss? What is happening in atrium? What is happening in ventricle? And what is happening in aorta? If I say that this is the phase of atrial contraction, then it means that mitral valve should be closed or open? This should be open. Is that right? But at this very moment, aortic valve will be closed. Aortic valve will be closed. It means that during atrial contraction, there is a communication between the left atrium and the left ventricle, but there is no communication between the left ventricle and aorta. It means for the left ventricle input system is working, but for the left ventricle output system is not working. Not working. Is that right? Yeah. Now, before the atrial contraction start, about 80 percent of ventricular filling is already done. About 80 percent of ventricular filling is already done before the atrial contraction start. It means that atrial contraction when it occurs, it just adds the last 20 percent of ventricular filling. Now this point is very important. As I told you that 80 percent of ventricular filling is passive. It does not require atrial effort. It means if someone has atria which are mechanically not working, right, still 80 percent of ventricular filling will be done and patient will not suffer significantly. Is that right? Atrial filling by the atrial contraction, the last 20 percent of ventricular filling which is done by its active atrial contraction, that really becomes more valuable to human beings when they are physically active, that is during exercise, right? Now, when left atrium will contract, naturally the pressure in the left atrium will go down or up? The pressure in the left atrium will go up, right? So let us suppose this was the pressure in left atrium, as soon as left atrium contracted, the pressure in left atrium slightly increased. So this wave is produced uh, when there is increased pressure within the left atrium due to atrial contraction. And this wave is called, yes please, which wave? A wave. This is a pressure wave. This is a pressure wave. It is produced in which chamber? In left atrium. Of course, all the events which occur on the left side of the heart with slightly different pressures, the same events occur on the right side of the 
heart. But first we will discuss the events on the left side of the heart. So what is A wave? A wave is pressure wave. Why it is produced? It is produced due to atrial contraction. Where it is produced? It is produced within left atrium. But listen, when atrium is contracting and pressure in atrium is increasing, we must notice that mitral valve must be open in a healthy person. So it means all the pressure which is present in the atrium is easily communicating to, communicated to the ventricle. ventricle. It means that when pressure in the atrium increases, of course, blood moves into yes ventricle. And when blood moves into ventricle, that pressure is transferred to which chamber? Left ventricle. So we can say that at this particular moment, when atrium is contracting, before that, just before the contraction of the atrium, pressure here was zero. It was very less pressure. It was a relaxed chamber. But as soon as atrium contracts, it pushed the last part of the blood into it, the pressure start increasing. But it's a very mild increase into pressure. Just after the atria completes its contraction, the action potential has entered into ventricles, of course through the AV node. And now it is the turn of the ventricle to contract. So in the next phase, what we'll see that now ventricular contraction will start. So this phase, we'll label this phase as phase of, yes please, phase of atrial contraction. Now we are moving to the next phase. Well, I will just brief it. What happens during atrial contraction? Left atrium contracts, pressure wave A is produced in the left atrium. Mitral valve is open and pressure and the volume that transfer to the left ventricle. But you have to remember that aortic valve is closed because pressure in the aorta is more than the pressure in the ventricle at this moment. right? So in this phase, you must know what is happening in atrium what is happening into ventricle, what is happening into aorta and you must be clear what happens to input valve which is mitral valve and what is happening to output valve which is aortic valve. Are you clear about this? Any question in this phase? Raul? No, no question. After that, naturally current will co come, depolarization will come to the left ventricle and now it is the onset of left ventricular contraction. Of course, by that time, it is in the next phase, the atrial contraction has been completed and we are entering into phase of atrial relaxation but onset of ventricular contraction. contraction. Now, in the next phase, now again I will show the all three chambers. This is the input chamber which is atrium. Here is ventricle, the major pump and this is output chamber. What is this? Aorta. Aorta. Now in the next phase, now it is properly felt, it is properly felt, but as you know already at the onset of this phase, already aortic valve is closed. At the onset of ventricular contraction, aortic valve is already closed because pressure here is about 80 millimeter of mercury. mercury. Right? Now, what really happens at this stage? that when ventricles start contracting, pressure in the ventricles start building, right? Pressure in the ventricle is going up and pressure in the ventricle is going up. Let's suppose pressure in the ventricle become around 5 millimeter of mercury. This is a pressure where intraventricular pressure becomes more than atrial pressure. And ventricles start contracting at the very beginning of the contraction, right, pressure go around 5 or 6 millimeter of mercury and now pressure in the ventricle is slightly above the pressure in atrium. As soon as you can say pressure in the ventricle become more than atrium, blood will try to go back and mitral valve will be closed.